Hi there and welcome back to our healthy recipe video series. We've designed this video series to help inspire you to cook healthy delicious meals that will satisfy your whole family. We know that Easter's coming up and you're probably planning to get together with your family for an Easter brunch or dinner. So our recipe this month will be a healthy blueberry pancake that's whole wheat and sugar free. This recipe is delicious. First, we're going to add all of our ingredients to this blender. A half a cup of milk, a cup of cottage cheese, two whole egg eggs, plus two egg whites. So there we've got the two egg whites separated. And half a cup of whole wheat flour. Half a cup of rolled oats. One teaspoon of baking soda. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And a quarter teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, and now that everything is in here, we're gonna turn on the blender and let it run until everything is well blended. So basically until there's no visible single ingredients anymore and the consistency of our mixture is pretty smooth. So after we've blended all of our ingredients, here's the consistency of our batter. You can see that everything's fully incorporated. It's got a smooth texture, but it's not too liquidy and it's not too solid. So off camera, we set our griddle to medium high heat. And this is my favorite part of making pancakes in the blender. We can just pour the right amount of, of batter right onto our griddle without making a mess or using any other dishes. Isn't that beautiful? And then we're just gonna put a few fresh blueberries right on top there, right into the batter. You can use fresh or frozen blueberries. We chose fresh. And it takes about three minutes on one side for the pancake to get done. What we're gonna look for is some signs of dryness right here around the edges and bubbles happening here in the middle. So you can put pretty much any kind of fruit or nuts you want in this pancake batter. We picked blueberries just because it sounded pretty tasty today. You could also use chocolate chips if you would like, but it will of course change the nutritional profile of your pancakes because it will add some sugar. So over here, we're starting to see some dryness around the edges of the pancake. See how it wrinkles just a little bit. I'd like to see a couple bubbles here in the middle before we flip it, but it's getting pretty close. And it's very important with pancakes that you don't flip them too early. That's probably the number one mistake that people make with pancakes is flipping them too early and then they fall apart, make a big mess all over your griddle, and then you have to pretty much clean up and start over. Beautiful. We're gonna leave it on this side for about three minutes as well until both sides are brown. And then we'll move the cooked pancakes off onto a plate to keep them warm while we cook the rest of the pancakes. stack of whole wheat pancakes. Serve these with your favorite toppings such as fruit, nuts, nut butters, or the old classic syrup. Of course syrup is going to add some sugar to this meal, but since the pancakes themselves have no added sugar, you're not going to get as much as you would with a boxed pancake mix for example. Mm -hmm. 